lots of dangers on the Martian surface we have to take into account when planning future missions, whether they be manned or not. But perhaps one of the biggest is the planet's massive dust storms. One such storm in June 2018 finally put an end to the Opportunity rover's long scientific career. And now researchers believe they may have also helped strip the planet of its water. The belief is that at some point in the past, as much as 20% of Mars was covered by liquid water. But about 4 billion years ago, it lost its magnetic field, and with it, much of its atmosphere. Without that, the water stood little chance against the brutal power of solar winds and radiation. The dust storms may have helped finish off any water that survived on the surface by carrying it high into the air. The storms that polished off Opportunity carried water molecules as high as 50 miles into the atmosphere. There, the air is so thin that the charged solar particles can actually tear water apart into separate hydrogen and oxygen, and then simply blow it away into the void of space. And powerful dust storms are pretty frequent on Mars. During Southern Hemisphere spring and summer, they crop up regularly and can cover an area the size of the U.S. for several days. But there are also truly destructive planet-wide storms, like the one in summer 2018, which can last for months. Those are more unpredictable, but still relatively common. We spotted our first one in 1971 when Mariner 9 went into orbit, and we've seen seven more since then. Of course, the biggest reason we're interested in dust storms is because they could pose a serious obstacle to manned missions. But at least now we know to bring plenty of backup batteries just in case another global dust storm buries our first manned mission under a fine layer of Martian dust. We'll see you tomorrow with more Engadget Today.